interface with the computer that is going to record the temperature. So to show you the setup, we have the interface channel one. We have one thermometer probe attached to the first channel, channel one, channel two as a second a thermometer, so we can perform two experiments at the same time. Channel one is going to be showing the numbers in red, and channel two is going to show the numbers in green. So this is just a test. So we know which which thermometer is for which uh, channel. So if I hold channel one thermometer here, the temperature on the red one, if you could see clearly, is increasing now. It's going to go to my body temperature because I'm holding my hand. So. Um, the setup for this experiment is very simple. You take a piece of uh, filter paper and you're going to secure it, roll it around the thermometer probe. Because we want to make sure that we get like significant amount, not a lot, but at least you know some of the uh, sample on the filter paper then it's going to evaporate and we check the temperature for evaporation. Has always been challenging. I don't want to I don't want to get it on the way of the paper. So it has to hold the paper. And sometimes it is loose, it's going to come up. So I usually have it push, part of it covering the probe, part of it covering the, the paper, so it's not loose when I uh, when I am placing it in the liquid, it doesn't drop inside the liquid. The second probe also is going to be prepared similarly. Channel one, track it, channel one for methanol. Place the channel one in methanol and two in ethanol. So that part I remember. Now I'm going to look at the procedure to make sure that. So I'm going to keep it there for 45 seconds. And then I will start collecting. When, I'm, when I click collect, is going to record the temperature so i could then go back and see what was the lowest temperature that it will reach so after the 45 seconds that they are in i'm going to start collecting and when i collect then i take it out i tape it to the to the bench side so, so let me get my tapes ready that to take a long then for me I be quick and be efficient. Channel one, I have to start collecting first. Okay. Channel one. Eight and channel two. It's more obvious with the with the lines than the numbers for you. So at least you could see the temperature is dropping because what's happening now is uh, the liquid from the filter paper is evaporating and the thermometer probe is recording the temperature. And because evaporation, as I said earlier, is endothermic, it removes heat from the environment and it makes the filter paper cold, so drop in temperature is evident here on the screen. So let's get this out. So I don't know how to minimize the reflection. You could see the paper, the computer screen better. So the highest temperature we had, just kind of monitor here to look at highest temperature we had here is.
We start with 23 for both of them. Initial temperatures that we are recording initial and final. When it, did, when it does reach a plateau, when the temperature stays constant, I can stop it. So I could see here now it's like a 6.5 for the, this one is not dropping much. I can stop and the green one, 13.3 is not stopping. So I can, I can stop at this point really. So for methanol, uh, we start with 23 and it reached down to 6.3. Ethanol starts with 22.9 and it reached down to 13.1. Okay. Clean up this. And start the next set of the experiment. So two new filter paper. When it says predict, what does it actually mean? Predict is like if you are trying another alcohol, but it's higher mass, we know that from methanol to ethanol, the delta T value decreased or the rate of evaporation is slower. So definitely, if you go to propanol, is going to be, again, slower because it's a larger molecule. The molecular mass is, or the molar mass is higher. So the rate of evaporation is going to be um, slower. The new temperature, for 45 seconds, we place in the solution following the procedure. Then I'm going to start collecting and as soon as I start collecting, I take out and I place the thermometers. The channel one and the left side, channel two and the right side. So I know channel one is going for propanol or the red color. Start collecting. Twenty-three point one for both of them. And I want you to monitor the screen. Look for the temperatures. Is dropping, but it's not as fast as the other. Both of them started with twenty three point one. Now Propanol, it's 20.2, but butanol is 21.9. That is not has not reached plateaus. I'm not going to stop yet. I'm waiting for the temperature to reach plateau. But I'm just saying the change in temperature for propanol is more significant than butanol because propanol is lighter molecule. It has three carbon, butanol has four carbon. I wait for 150 seconds. So can probably just stop there. 17.9 and 20.6, 17.8 and 20. Point Okay. 
Now, I'm going to clean up these and set up new sets. And the new set is for the last two chemicals that we have for probe one. For channel one, I'm going to use pentane for channel one. So I'm preparing the new set. And the second one the second one is going to be for hexane. Going to place it in the solution again of the uh, in the sample. Pentail and hexane, channel one. Which is this one is going to go to pentane, shows with the red color, and channel two with the green color is going to hexane. Start new. Wait for like 45 I'm sorry, seconds. We have the numbers. 22.9 and 23.3. Going to start with the collection first. Then we take the two one. Okay. Take channel two. Temperature is dropping. You see, it's very significant, even more significant than the methanol, because we are dealing with Van der Waals forces or London dispersion forces in this case, which is very weak. Since I wait for the others to get to plateau, I'm going to wait for this one to get to plateau. When the temperature stays constant, then I can okay. So I'm going to stop here and look for the lowest temperature. The lowest temperature for propane was seven point nine. 7.9. Lowest temperature at that point, 7.9. The other one is 12.8. 12.8. I'm not sure if you were able to see the, the numbers or not, so I'm going to record it here for you. Uh, methanol, we went from 23.0 to 6.3. Methanol, went from 22.9 to 13.1. Propanol, propanol from 23.1 to 17.7. .7. Twenty three point one to twenty point five. Then we have contain contain it went from twenty two point nine to seven point nine. 
and hexane 23.3 to 12.8. And these are the data for the experiment. 